I am not a welder, but I pretend to be. You are now. And uh, this is, I'm going to put this in my uh, Beat Hall of Fame because this is the prettiest thing I've ever welded. Alright, so uh, I got Rob here with Miller. Rob Bennett's uh, been a friend of mine for a long time. Uh, he's from the town of Stilton, Washington, where uh, I'm from, and it was crazy. We were just walking by, and we happened to hear his laugh, and I was like, that sounds like Rob, and then it turns out it was. I had no idea you were going to be here, but uh, he is repping Miller, and they got some really cool new products, and uh, one of them that we're going to look at today is what, Rob? This is the Optics 2KW. It is a 2,000 watt laser welder. It's new technology hitting the market. We introduced this in April. So it's actually, we're using light energy rather than resistant welding, rather than a positive and negative. We're actually building a laser, we're building a light, comes through fiber optics, comes through it, and we're, we're using light energy to do that. We can spot weld with it, we can autogenous weld, which is welding with, with no filler. We can use filler material, and we can weld anything you do with TIG or MIG. So we can do mild steel, aluminum, stainless steel, ink and L, titanium, That's really cool. whatever there is. Whatever you can do, we can do it better. Um, and then we can also clean with it. So secondary purpose would be cleaning. We can clean up to 15 millimeters wide. So today we're just going to do a, a little bit of a uh, little bit of welding. We're going to spot weld. We're going to wire weld, and we're going to clean. With it. So right. you're, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to we're gonna see how this works. So our carbon fiber, we run the carbon fiber. Uh, carbon fiber will take a, a direct hit from the laser for over 20 seconds and then it has an aluminum bezel here and then each pack has two laser welders or laser lenses to give you added protection on it. Oh, so sweet. We're all about, my goal in life is to go out of this world with as many digits and orifices that I came in. So, that sounds safety, that, safety, yeah. safety. Lofty goals, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unlike us who is safety third. <laughs> so. You have two triggers here. The first one, let's, oh, we're not quite shut all the way. The first one gives us this green light. The green okay. light means that the, yep, that the interlocks are satisfied. We've got gas and we have power ready to rock and roll. But we pull the trigger, we're not shooting a laser. Okay. So again, we're talking safety. We've got a continuity clamp right here. Ours will not fire unless it touches down and we're, we're in contact with the work. We've got the blinking green light. So drop your lid. This is a spot weld. All we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that second trigger and it's gonna ramp up, weld, and drop back down. We hold it there for about two counts. It's gonna give a little bit of coverage. We're dealing with stainless. We don't do that. We're gonna get a little blooming on there. So that's it. So we're gonna tack weld this in four locations. Wherever you see that red dot, the, the, the class two laser, is where the main laser is gonna come out. And I rest this on the, on my work yep, surface? Yep, so pull your first trigger. Now, hold on, get it up on here. Oh, on there. Yep, now, bring it up and right about there. Okay. Hold that trigger all the way through. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you were letting go of it. Yep. Where do we go now? Get up here on that corner. Get one down there. And right on that other side. Perfect. And you, my friend, just tack welcome oh. two pieces together. Wow. It's crazy because you it doesn't you don't think you're doing anything. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really really impressive. Okay, so we're gonna move on to wire. So we're gonna flip over here to A2. Wire feeder comes on. Now this is a little bit different. Okay. Forget about what you know about manipulating the, the uh, torch, pulling, pushing, or anything like that. We're at 20 inches per minute, which means our travel speed is gonna be going at 20 inches per minute. Oh, that's quick. When you pull that trigger, you're gonna feel a little bit of a push just nice and relaxed just let it push you along try not to think about regular mig welding okay so I'll try not it. to think i got that i think <laughs> right in my wheelhouse rob all right so we put her down drop your lid and pull the trigger and then when you're done just lift up wow, don't let go of the trigger just lift up 
Don't let go of the trigger. Just lift up. Okay. All right. That is so fast. And so, yeah, you can you can adjust that down. If you're doing, like I'm working on a project where we're building a roll cage. We've got five joints that come in. It's pretty tight coming around. So I'll weld at about 12, 10 to 12 inches per minute. Just gives me a time to get down and around. I've also been on projects where you're welding at 50 inches per minute. You're just, just gripping and ripping. I'm going to go around the circle? Nope. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. We're going to weld that to that. Right. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a little bit of pressure. I'm right just going to go right here. Yep, bring that right there. I'm going to retract that wire just a little bit. Oh, that's cool. That's, I'm not used right. to this fancy stuff. So I'll just pull that trigger. Trigger one. Get your gas flow. Bring that down about there. And then whenever you're ready, pull your second one. And just like that, you are a pro, dude. Dude, you've never welded that good. Hey, dude, you never <laughs> welded that good. Dude, I haven't ever welded this good. This is, <laughs> this is awesome. Do you want to see the cleaning? Yeah. You got time? Yeah. What time okay. is it? Forty-seven. We got time. Okay. Yeah. Let's see it clean. Of course, you want to see it clean. So pop her back down here. Oh, yeah. So typically, oh, they're yeah. gonna want to either pickle and passivate, or they're gonna have to wire brush that down. We got some little bit of coloration, a little bit of sootiness. So again, same process. Pull your trigger one. That's your mic. Pull your trigger one, pull your tail up just a little bit. You wanna keep that parallel with the workpiece, 45 there. And then whenever you're ready. Just trigger one. Just trigger one. And now trigger two. And then just pull along. Oh. Reset your first trigger. Did I do it? Yeah. Wow. It doesn't it doesn't look like you're doing anything, right? No, it is. And you get done and you've stripped off all the coloration. I am not a welder, but I pretend to be. You are now. And uh, this is I'm gonna put this in my uh, beat hall of fame because this is the prettiest thing I've ever welded. So that seventy seven ranchero was it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably got a lot of rust on there. You can take Absolutely one of these <laughs> and just eat all that rust off of that it. That is so yeah. crazy. Crazy. And so we can clean all the way up. We can go 15 millimeter wide on that cleaner. Sweet. Wow. That is so cool. Yep. Amazing that, technology. That is. In freedom digits, what's that like? Uh, three quarters of an inch, maybe? Yeah, freedom digits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not three quarters of an inch. Well, Rob, thank you very much for your time. Uh, this was yeah. just a blitz of an interview. Uh, it was great to see you. Run India. And this is an amazing product. And uh, people want to learn more. Uh, we put some links down below. Check out Miller.com. MillerWelds.com. MillerWelds.com. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, you betcha. Good seeing you guys. Yeah, that was awesome. Dude, thanks a lot.